Same thing I asked of NCAA Luis. Um, y'all are going to be one of, if not the last, Power Fives to get going. How tough has this way been? Months of work, and then you have the pause, and to see everybody else get started has been tough. Oh, of course. I think just the toughest part is just wanting to play, really. I mean, we all want to get out there and be on the floor. But, um, you know, just having to wait around, watch teams play, just the anxiousness of wanting to play, I think, was the hardest part, besides not actually being able to play, of course. So, yeah, it's, it's been real anxious, a lot of built up um, frustration of not being able to play. But, I mean, I think when we do get to play, we'll show why we've been so anxious. So. Go to Parrish. Hey, Luis, uh, you've missed a lot of time with different injuries and whatnot. Uh, yeah. You know, what's, uh, what's your confidence level right now just in getting back in game action when you can, game speed? I mean, what, what do you think that will be like for you? Um, I think I've done, done, done a pretty good job just in practice and workouts, just um, getting back to my normal self. So, I mean, my confidence is there. I've been, I feel like Kermit. Uh, all the coaches, Coach Davis, I think they've been telling me like I've been, you know, performing pretty well. So I just think with them and then my teammates um, also pushing me through workouts and making sure I'm ready. I think I'm I'm real confident. I think I'll I'll be better than before, honestly. So. Yep. What do you think is uh, is the rebounding mentality among the guards? I know rebounding overall was something the staff wanted to improve this year. Right. We see it coming, or we see what they've done to help there with the bigs what's it like for the guards um it's emphasized for us you know uh our coaches tell us you know attack every ball every rebound you know act like you a big when you're going in there you, you go get it you know it's fair game for anybody so i mean they emphasize rebounding to us just as much as they do to bigs because it's just as important so you know that's always emphasis when we uh scrimmage rebound the ball rebound the ball you rebound the ball you'll play just go after it, so it's, yeah, it's emphasized for the guards as well. Go to Neil. Hey, Luis, you talked about anxiety about uh, you know waiting to play. You got to be pretty used to that by now. What was oh, what man. was last year like for you? Oh, it was rough. I mean, it was tough, you know, going out with injury, ending my season. But uh, in a way, I'm kind of thankful for it because it just you know, make me that much more ready and that much more like I have more of a chip on my shoulder because I haven't played in so long. And I'm just, you know, I'm just ready to go, really. I mean, it made me appreciate the game more, you know. I, it can happen to anybody, anytime. So I'm just thankful to be back and I'm ready to go. I've been, of course, ready since, you know, we got, I got cleared to practice and play and stuff. So, you know, just this weight, this build up is just making me more and more anxious and just ready to play. And, you know. Always talked about you as a smart player. Having to watch as much as you did when you can't do anything, did it did it even uh, further refine sort of the mental aspect of the game for you? Oh, without a doubt. I think um, I think I've seen the game a lot better just you know watching instead of being on the floor and just um, being in practice and seeing what coach stopped, opposed to like being on the floor and it didn't happen. But like just you know, kind of. Viewing from a different perspective, I think it's definitely slowed down the game for me and helped me like, oh, I'll be talking to myself, well, he should have made this play, he should have made that play, he should have done this. And then it kind of just translates to me personally when I'm out there and kind of reacting to whatever the defense given and stuff. So, for sure. Go back to Ben. Please, so it's going to be made of versatility and flexibility for guys this year because there could be so many unknowns. and. I know before the Justin Reed Classic, Kermit had been using you potentially even at the four if they needed to had y'all right. played that Classic. Yep. How have you taken to that and um, how have you maybe adapted to that if you do have to play there? Yeah, really just learning, you know, that spot. I didn't, I haven't played it much so like at, at all, but, uh, you know, just being ready for whatever. Just uh, coach say all the time, the more spots you know, the more play time you get, the more you, we can move you around the floor. So really just... You know, wherever he needs me to do is what I'm going to do. So if it's playing the four, the three, the two, whatever it is, you know, I'll just be ready, watch film on it. And when it's called for me to play that, then so be it. That's just where it's at. But I mean, he talk about all the time, the more positions, you know, you know, the more play time you'll get and the more we can move you around and 
you know, have you at the floor, on the floor in different spots. So, yeah, I definitely picked up a lot of stuff, especially like KJ and Sammy and them. They helped me along the way, just teach me more to force. So we want to play small ball or whatever the case may be. I'm just ready when it when that time comes. So, yeah. Nick, go ahead. Luis, picking back and off of what Neil asked, just what do you think your emotions are going to be like on Thursday after the year you've had, just getting to step out on that court for the first time? Oh, uh, it's it's going to be crazy. Like I'm definitely going to be excited, but also I mean might have a little bit of jitters just ain't playing it so long. But I mean that's. Is is going finally the way to be over. So I'm I'm more ready than ever, honestly. So it's the longest I've ever had to sit out without playing basketball, just with the whole injury and, and COVID as well. So I mean, it's definitely going to be a bit emotional just not playing so long. But I think it'll be all worth it and be ready to go when that time comes. So has it felt like a year or has it felt longer? It's felt longer. It's really felt longer, especially through the season we had last year and just, you know, couldn't be able to help and, you know, play my part. At, and then now with COVID and everything, yeah, it's felt much longer. But, I mean, it's here now, so I'm just trying to take advantage of the opportunity God's presented me to be back able to play again. I'm just, I'm just grateful, really.